burgers from Target and they're like my favorite now. I never would have thought that just, you know, Target brand burgers would be like my favorite ones. Ooh, I should try it with these next time. Oh, that sounds so good. Mm. So I like toasting the hamburger buns and we got the burger buns from Dave's killer bread apparently it's got like eight grams of protein or no six grams of protein and then eight grams of whole grains in there but i was very surprised because these buns they look dry to me and i thought they were going to be super dry and they're not and when i tell you that these buns are so good they are pretty penny they kind of expensive for some bread but it's worth it i would definitely buy these again so I kind of like to toast them dark like that. That's kind of like how we like them. And then I put butter and like some mayo on there. Oh my God, it's so good. I'm actually wearing a skirt. I'm very insecure about my legs being out, but this skirt is so cute. Morning. So it's early. I'm tired. I actually overslept more than what I was supposed to. Today is Saturday. Welcome to self-love Saturdays, y'all. So I'm gonna give myself a little self-love on this face because it's just not looking right. Um, but yeah, today me and my mom are going to Blake's Apple Orchard and we're going to um, go to the Lavender Festival. We bought our tickets a while ago and um, we've been waiting for this moment and things. So um, if you guys don't know what the Lavender Festival is, uh, they have like a bunch of like artisans and, uh, you know, vendors, um, you pick lavender. So like you can actually go out to the field and pick it. Uh, and they pretty much have like a bunch of like lavender treats and things. Um, and then sometimes they have people that come and speak and all of that. So I heard that they have like massages too. I don't know if I'm gonna get a massage, but we'll, we'll see what happens here. So yeah, we're excited about that. It's gonna be a fun time. I just gotta wake up first. We're back. Okay. So I don't know why I put this much effort into my face when I know that I'm going out to farmland. I, I don't know. Don't ask me why. But what I want to do is I want to carry a book bag. I don't want to carry a purse. I just get really weird about carrying like big purses um, anywhere where there's like a lot of people. So I like to have something that's like secure on my back. I'm going to transfer things from my purse to this backpack here. So that's what we're going to do. So now I got my book bag. I got this from Boo Boo. Um, but yeah, so we're going to get ready to go. I'm running late as it is. I have to make sure that I grab the tickets. And then I also have to make sure that I grab my sunglasses and ooh, having a brain fart. My mom's packages because she sends all of her packages over to my house. So like, yeah, so I'm going to grab that. Ticket and coupons. I was really concerned that the fish flies were out, so I bought some bug spray. Not today, at least. Um, I got to check the mailbox. What a nice day! It's so nice outside. I'm excited. I'm kind of glad that I wore my sweatshirt because at first I was going to wear something kind of cute and like festive, if you will. I don't really own anything purple. I was going to try and find something within that realm, but 
it's it's gonna be chilly because we're gonna be in open farmland and I I want to think smart not cute right now because I know that I'm going to be pissed if I'm cold I, I hate being cold we're off to get mummy and um, we're going to I got her packages I think I got all of them if you guys haven't checked out my video it did drop the other day this is a headband wig and it is by love me hair and when I tell you I am in love with it I am in love with it it, it was so quick and easy to put on and then I just put one of my little like headbands on and oh my gosh it's it's just so cute and I laid my edges down okay i forgot my watch i knew that i forgot something that's okay we have my i got my phone it'll be okay and we got our tickets right here and we're gonna make quite the drive i am not looking forward to this but it is what it is gotta go pick up mom and have to go to the apple orchard so this is gonna be a drive so be back in a few <laughs> super nice outside and I'm very surprised at how nice it is right now it's like perfect because the past couple of days we've been getting like torrential is that the word for it torrential rain so it's either been like super humid and sticky super hot or um just damp <sighs> this is refreshing it's it's the calm after the storm if you will oh uh, I'm just waiting for mom to come out so we can go. I know she said that she's still finishing getting dressed and stuff. Oh, don't start this yawning. No. Oh. I'm so tired, you guys. I shouldn't. So, like, I, I knew that I had the next day off, but I knew also that I needed to get up this early. And um, I made the biggest mistake of staying up until, like, almost 5 o'clock in the morning because I was just perusing through my phone. Yes, I said perusing, but this was, that was a mistake. Um, I'm going to need like coffee or something of some sort. And I'm about to be at a lavender festival. So, you know, that lavender be making people calm. Oh my God. I'm probably going to need one hell of a nap when I come back. Oh, this is going to be so bad. Not excited for that, but I'm excited for this festival though gonna get some nice little treats and stuff apparently they make like a special kind of lavender donut like a cider mill donut if you've ever had one like they actually put like you know lavender on it during the lavender festival and stuff like lavender sugar or something like that i'm really interested to try as much as i can today and i'm excited that you guys are coming with us and it looked like it go all the way down You okay? get the donut. They might be good. So they're lemon lavender.
more lemonade than lavender in it though. Oh, mine is on the bottom. Yeah. So. I'm weird. I'm a. Uh, I said I'm weird. I'm gonna put a little ranch. Let me see how it tastes. Yeah. super tired i didn't think that that would drain me like that um there was a ton of small businesses and from what i heard last year it wasn't like as big as it was this year there was over like a hundred something vendors at this one and um it was just really nice getting to know people and things i didn't really see a lot of black owned businesses so uh people we gotta get out there so i want to see some of y'all there next year um, but I got a lot of goodies <laughs> and I want to go through like all of this stuff that I got today at the, uh, Lavender Festival because like, I feel like my vlogging wasn't very good. I was trying to spend some time with my mom and it was just a lot going on. So I still got my wristband on and everything. Uh, so let's go through this. The first thing, oh, let me grab it really quick. Yeah. This is stuff that you can have. So we went to the market first because right when you walk into Blake's, they have an actual like little market where they sell the cider and the donuts and all the goodies, the kettle corn, all that good stuff. So it's kind of melted, but I got my um, Russo cinnamon bread. This is like one of my favorite breads to eat. It's coming loose. I need to put this in the fridge before the bread bandit steals it. I call her the bread bandit, talking about Kasha because she's something else so so we got a couple of lavender themed treats so we got the lavender madeleines they keep like bouncing around and we've been walking around with these so like i'm probably gonna put most of this stuff in the fridge i also got the lavender donuts look at how cute they're lavender lemon i'm excited to try these i wonder if the sugar is actually lavender or if it's just like purple sugar but i i doubt that i bet you that there is some lavender in there i got half a gallon of the lavender lemonade that they sell oh when i tell you the lavender lemonade was good it was just the right amount of sweet to me um and then we also had the lemon lavender sorbet because you know like ice cream and me like just ugh. but um yeah um that is my fruit cup from earlier <laughs> we wasn't playing around we literally went shopping uh we was talking to a bunch of people so many nice people that we got to meet i got a lot of like business cards so just bear with me but i got this right here this is the all natural paw balm so this is for the kitties it was like three dollars so i want to see how it reacts on their paw pads and things um just because like of the dry weather and stuff so this is from angela's treat stash she gave me like 20 percent off and stuff that was super super nice and there's a place called motown soup and all their proceeds go back into the community and to help people and shelters and things like that and the homeless and the hungry we can even order through this form right here or i think we can order online as well if i remember correctly for what she was saying but we got these little soup packets and they're pretty much like all you gotta do is like add water and like you know if you wanted to add a little extra seasoning i'm sure so i ended up getting the um, lemon chicken and orzo soup mix and then I got the tomato and basil and um, my mom kind of got the same ones. We have a piece of pottery and I got this because like I wanted a Michigan ornament for my tree. I mean rightfully so. Everybody in Michigan got a Michigan something. I'm just for real. So she hand makes these little like Michigan ornaments. This is by BH Pottery and she was so nice. And it's got her little like her logo on the back 
these are so cute it was between this one and the turquoise color looking one i couldn't decide but this one was speaking to me for some reason maybe because it looks like bell isle water so we went to this place called ww farms and we got like these little like sprigs is it sprigs sprigs of lavender smells so good i got this lavender patchouli um room spray it's like with essential oils and all that i love patchouli like how i told y'all i love the earth scents oh my gosh so amazing so i need to figure out like exactly like if i need to put these in water because they were just sitting outside when i grabbed them so I, I don't really know we got the fairy ring glass lady um i've never heard of her apparently my mom watches her on facebook and everything and my mom was so excited to meet her i'll post a picture right here they were so cute she was like fangirling out and everything but she made this little pendant and everything let me see if i can get a little bit closer but it's literally a glass mushroom pendant and you know i had to get it in the mint green how cute is that it says fairy ring glass um she was dressed like a fairy it was so cute oh my god it was so adorable and we ended up going to um loony soap coat i do believe that's who it was but i got handmade soap so i got some honey bunny soap and I believe that this is made out of honey and things. Um, so it says the ingredients are tallow. I don't know what tallow is. Buttermilk, coconut oil, olive oil, sodium hydroxide, distilled water, castor oil. Y'all know I love the castor oil. Fragrance, oatmeal, honey, and cowling clay. And then this patchouli lavender. Like the soaps are just beautiful. Distilled water, sodium hydroxide, olive oil, castor oil, essential oil, shea butter, organic sunflower oil, and micas. I wonder why it says patchouli though. Maybe it's a certain type of lavender or something. I, I don't know. It still smells really good. And then I also picked up this soap lift. So you set your soap on here and it's supposed to like eliminate um like messy residues and things like that and it keeps it nice and dry especially like handmade soaps a lot of them like to kind of like burn out pretty quick not actually burn out like you wouldn't burn soap but you know it burns out pretty quick um so this will help to preserve it and it comes with a little tray and i really love this color the other lady she was so so sweet so her name is nancy Brady and she does bedazzling looks for less what we got from her was the first thing i kind of I'm, I'm so obsessed she sold me on this and when i tell you her stuff is really really affordable like y'all need to check her out like her stuff is was like ten dollars each so i got this cute little tigers bracelet for ten dollars and it has a magnetic clasp and when i tell you this thing is strong it's super super strong like it guys like that is just gorgeous and like she even measured it out on my arm and everything she told me she was like oh honey let me remove a clasp and stuff and she was like you know where you want it at. i was like you are the pro like you do your thing like she was so sweet and she i felt so bad for her because the network or something was going on with the network so her little square machine was not working very well I'm like, why would y'all why would y'all do that to businesses though? Y'all know that they trying to like make their money and stuff. Why would you not have a like secure network that they can work on with no issues whatsoever? I don't know. Maybe something happened. I, I don't know. But also, um, my mom ended up getting us some earrings from her. These are my sisters. They're really small, but they're so cute. My sister loves elephants. Yeah, it's like a can you see that right there it's a it's like a little um elephant and then she got me some turtle earrings like i love turtles and frogs but see that oh my gosh they're so cute and you can get like three for ten and she got herself some butterfly earrings so that was super super cute um I just i'm so obsessed with this i love the tigers this just works out so nicely like it's so cute of course like gotta get hard cider while you're at blake's so ended up getting one of my favorite hard ciders if you guys haven't tried this one out you should if you're here in michigan if you decide to go to blake's or anything like that so i love rainbow seeker so this is technically like apple cider pineapple juice um 
Michigan beet juice, I think, and then cane sugar. And then I think it, I think it had sage in there too. I want to say that it did, but I'm not quite sure. Somebody can correct me in the comments. Packaging is so, so cute. I think we're going to try this one later on. So this is blueberry lemonade. Even the branding is aesthetically pleasing. We had a pretty successful visit at the lavender market. So I think like I'm going to rest for a little bit and then I'll probably go hang out with my dad or something like that because I'm pooped you guys like I'm literally pooped I walked around a lot and then later on in the day the sun just started to chee 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 just beam down on us and it was just so bad I hope you guys enjoyed that so I'm gonna go ahead and chill and I'll catch you guys in a little bit I meant to also show you guys um this bag that I got while I was there so this is actually made out of jute so it's gonna last I see why did I say jute like <laughs> um so this is made out of jute and it's a tote bag that you can use for like farmers markets or like if you need like you know some extra baggage or something um i literally got this because of the fact that i didn't want to use any like plastic bags but i ended up having to because i forgot my eco-friendly bag yeah that's okay that's okay because some of these bags have like the small business branding on there so that was helpful. Oh, now we're getting somewhere. I bet you it's the deflated one. No. Nope. 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 Nope.